Hey guys, Thunderset here, bringing you another new deck that revolves around a new card, and that is Jet Synchron. Jet Synchron, what does he do? This card is sent to your graveyard as a synchro material. You can add one junk monster to your hand. We are not using that. If this card is in your graveyard, you can send one card from your hand to the graveyard. Special summon this card, but banish it on the field. You can only do it once per turn. Very, very strong effect. How do you make the most out of that effect, guys? You use a monster that also wants to be in the graveyard to be sent to the graveyard to fuel this effect. So, we use Quibble Hedgehog, where if this card is in your graveyard, you can special summon this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. You must control a tuner to do it. So he throws away a Quibble to special summon himself, then Quibble can hop right out. Even better when you have a Scrap Recycler. So think of a combo as just Scrap Recycler and Quibble. Normal summon Scrap Recycler, throw away your Synchron, bring out or uh, discard your Quibble Hedgehog, then once he's out, you special summon your Quibble Hedgehog, use whatever level augmentation you want, get out whatever Synchro you want. We even have a level 4 Synchro, so even the 3 plus the 1 is a Synchro play, guys. Then you can just keep bringing out more tuners, adding on more stuff. Another little mini play is Snipe Hunter with Jet Synchron himself. Then you can make an immediate Jet Warrior who's a level 5 Synchro, Jet Synchron plus 1 non or more tuner monsters. If this card is Synchro Summoned, you get to return one card from the hand. If this card's in the graveyard, you can tribute one level 2 or lower monster and special summon him in defense. Then you have to banish him when he leaves the field. It's a very strong effect. We do use that effect because we have so many level 2 or lower monsters. It's actually very nice. We're also using Hey True Nade and some Sphere Ebolas just because they're so strong, so, so strong. So they help out our Synchros. So what kind of synchros are we using, guys? We have four, five, six, seven, seven, eight of the best synchros we can fill in. So I already went over Jet Warrior. We also have Underworld Fighter Balmung. He's level 4, 2100, which is not bad at all. And when he's destroyed by card effect, you can special summon a level 4 or lower monster. Pretty useful. You know what Samurai Destroyer was. Cy Behemoth is a great out to Cocteus. Black Rose for Field Wipes. I do believe you'll see one in the replays. And then, of course, we have Scrap Dragon. It's probably the best Synchro right now. Very, very killer, guys. So, I'm not that content with this deck. I would like to do a little more with Jet Synchron right now. It doesn't feel too great. It's like a bunch of separated little combos, and you gotta really use your Synchro monsters to climb the ladder. But it's a new tuner. He's really strong. He's machine. So we're still gonna try it out. Hope you guys enjoy the replays, and thanks for watching. Okay, so I'm certain there's more potential to be had with Jet Synchron. There's more combos. I was trying to make this massive level 9 machine that special summons when you discard another machine. But it, it was just too convoluted. So here, like I said, this is a combo, guys. Scrap Recycler, Quibbled Hedgehog. Here we're fighting what you're gonna need to get used to seeing, guys. It's uh, Black Wings. Super expensive archetype from older boxes. Don't know that I'm going to get an optimal build for it. We'll see what happens. Focusing on other cards right now. He's doing a whole shebang of uh, synchro summons and searches and all that good stuff. Leaves him with a level 7. Rakiri the Rain Shower. So we're going to normal summon our Scrap Recycler. We get hit by a Blackbird Close from the hand who's going to negate our effect. Destroy our monster and special summon a brand new black wing monster so how on earth am i going to overcome this op stuff guys who knows but we have a sphere boy to protect us for a turn so we're gonna be okay here he tributes off his own monster very weird move now he gets a double search he gets a tuner and same tuner so I don't really know if that was a good play or not. Here he's trying to go for lethal. We do not let him swing for lethal with the Sphere Kuribo, obviously. Now we still have the Scrap Recycler Quill Bolt combo, even though he beat our first Scrap Recycler. So we send Jet Synchron. Jet Synchron special summons by sending Quill Bolt. Quill Bolt special summons. We augment that level up one with the Sphere Kuribo in our hand. That's four plus two plus one. That is seven, guys. Look at that massive board wipe. Goodbye, Black Wings. He's down to two cards. Couldn't even summon. We're gonna normal summon our Quill Bolt. 
Oh, I forgot to even go over this tuner. He's a level 2 tuner. Cannot be destroyed by battle once per turn. Very strong. So he tries to swing at us with a 2k boy. We hit him with the sphere boy. Normal summon our car curry tuner. That's level 4. Ball monks 2100. Even if he was attacked, we'd still would have swung over him. Now we get another Jet Synchron. Here, we're going to Quillbolt. Bring out the 400, 2100. We could have made more Synchros. We could have just swung for Lethal. Tons of plays, guys. Great stuff. Okay, here we are fighting Sarah. We're going first. But yeah, I, I was trying a lot. I was trying to put a lot of thought towards Jet Synchron, but things just weren't working out. So this guy's a good first turn play, like I said. He can't be destroyed by battle once per turn. Here we get a normal summon Scrap Recycler. Now we're going to level augment our Scrap Recycler up to. That's plus five. That's a seven, guys. Guess what? Another Black Rose Field Wipe. We are fighting Flip Flop Frog and Invoked. So we got all sorts of good stuff. We know that face down monster is going to be a problem. It's going to return us to our hand or something. So we got to get a monster that's going to be able to handle it no problem. We get our Balmung Fighter. Now we get that into the Jet Synchron. 4 plus 1 is 5. That's Jet Warrior. Return that monster to the hand. No flip effects for him. Swing for 2100. Good stuff, guys. Here, he's going to reload his hand after setting a monster. Does not pay off for him. Has to set a back row. Here, we hate you nade that back row. Now we're going to normal summon our Jet Synchron. That brings the Psy Behemoth, guys. But wait, we're not done. We're going to throw away a Sphere Boy to bring that same Jet Synchron right back out. 6 plus 1 is 7. Now we're to the Samurai Destroyer. Now we really don't care about those flip effects. He has to really hope he gets to an Invoke. Can't play Invoked without Sorcerer's Conduit, guys. So, I set a Quill Bolt and then I Special Summon the Jet Warrior. We stop his effects. Goblin gets destroyed thanks to the Samurai Destroyer. We could have flipped our boy up to attack. Great, great stuff, guys. Okay, here we are fighting Taya. Going second. She's using Holy Guard. Here we have Snipe Hunters, Jet Synchrons. He sets two back row. Here we're going to Snipe Hunter out of one Jet Synchron. Hit it. We get a Gravel Storm of some sort. Then we bring out our Junk Synchron. That gives us Jet Warrior. Jet Warrior is going to return that to the hand. Swing. Do 2100. Here now he's going to normal summon a Princessian. Use Glass Slippers. Attack with the Glass Slippers after setting him back row. Then activate Princessian's ability to send those Glass Slippers onto someone else. We're going to hate you need that back row. Now we're going to normal summon our level 2, that's going to be a level 7. Samurai Destroyer for way more than lethal. Great, great stuff guys. Okay, here we are fighting Yami Yugi. Going first. It looks like he has a big deck there. Yep, Spell Specialist with 30 cards. Not generally what you're going to want to do. First turn play to set our card curry barrel. Good, good stuff. Now we're going to set another tuner, guys. We're just bricking. This guy's setting a ton of monsters. Look at all the tuners we have. Look at all the sphere boys we have. I get tired of waiting. Flip up my car, Curry. Now I flip him back. We're fighting a blue eyes, obviously, and he has no means to get his blue eyes out. Finally get an interactive card with Snipe Hunter, and guess what? Walk right into a treacherous trap hole. He foolishly does not get rid of the barrel, though. Barrel is so sticky and hard to get rid of through normal attacks. So that would have been a good opportunity. Here he throws his Arc Brave Dragon, which lets him special summon a Blue Eyes. We already have our Scrap Recycler, though. Just gonna give us our Jet Synchron. We're gonna level up with a Spear Boy. That's 4 and 2. Plus 1. 4 plus 1 is our Jet Warrior, guys. We're gonna send that, uh, blue eyes to the hand. Then we're going to end our turn. Here he's got a normal summon a Felgrand. That brings his Arc Brave. Then that's an Armades. He's got a Claw of Hermosis Armades, guys. 
Like what? This is gonna be a really strong Armadius. Swings for super close to lethal. We still have 700 life points though. He gets the summon of blue eyes. Our poor little barrel is just sitting there scared. Now guess what guys? We get a normal or we get a special summon jet warrior by tributing the barrel. Then we normal summon another barrel. That's a level 7. That's a massive Black Rose wipe, guys. Look at that. Black Rose in every match. Thanks to Jet Warrior. Hopping on out. Then we got Scrap Recycler. He sends a Quill Bolt. We already had a Jet Synchron waiting. He comes out. Quill Bolt comes out. We make our Balmung. That's 2100. He has 800. Great, great stuff, guys. Whittling him down. Remember, he had Spell Specialist, so no Destiny draw. Finally gets over with this brick, guys. Crazy stuff, guys. Okay, so here we are fighting a crow. You know what crow is going to mean? That's black wings. Get used to seeing it, guys. It's the future. So here we're going second, though. Great hand. Snipe Hunter, Jet Synchron, and Quibble. Here, of course, it's black wings. Starting with the poison, or no, sorry, starting with whirlwind. All that good stuff. Getting a synchro off. What level is that? The 7? Level 7. The rain shower. Then that thing's effect. You take damage. Flip monsters. Some some sort of weird thing. Here we get snipe hunter. Yep. This is where I misplay guys. So I hit him. Now Jet Synchron's going to send Quibble. Now Quibble's going to come out. Now I choose to make a level 7. But... Stick with me. So we had a 4, a 1, and an 8. So I could have level augmented the 2 to a 3. Then 3 plus 1 would be Balmung. That's 2100. Then we would still have our Snipe Hunter. So it would have been a little better play. Since it would have been lethal. He only has 3000 life left. Wouldn't have been 4k lethal. So I kind of overlooked it. But like I said, we could have done the level 4 Synchro Balmung. Kept our Snipe Hunter and just hit him. But we would have had to blow our skill. Here we go with the Samurai Destroyer just outright. Don't have to use our skill. But our opponent lives to fight another turn. Could have blown up in our faces. Here he has another Whirlwind. No plays though. Shows his thing. Has to surrender. Great stuff. So guys, like I said, I'm not 100% satisfied with this deck. I feel Jet Synchron has more plays. Kind of limited kind of smaller monsters, smaller jet warriors, smaller Balmungs are what you're using mostly. You have to use your synchros to really chain up to your bigger monsters, so it's a little tough. Level augment definitely helps, and uh, I don't know guys, don't don't really sweat Jet Synchron, don't go out there and really dig for three copies, I don't think he's much worth it, but it's still a really fun tuner for all the new synchros we're getting, it's great stuff, hope you guys enjoyed, thanks for watching.